What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about this real quick, and I want to call out the ladies, okay? To the woman out there, black men, we keep saying how y'all are being the destruction and the downfall of men and black families. This video that you are about to see is the reason why. To the black woman out there, when y'all meet black homosexual men, do y'all not hype them up as if they're actually women? Do y'all not say, go girl, you looking so good today when y'all see those homosexual men? When y'all know good and well, those are actually men and they're not women. This right here needs to be stopped at an all time high. And these men, they're Israelites, but they're calling it out. They're calling it out. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. These young black men out here are at a full time high acting like they're young girls and the young girls are actually hyping them up. How are we going to get anywhere as a race if a man and a woman can't coexist with each other and make babies? How is it ever going to happen if all the young black men out here are pretty much gay? How is it ever going to happen? We won't have a we there there will there will there will be a non existence of humans if all these men, especially these young black boys out here, are turning gay. And these women out here are not saying anything about it. They're hyping them up. It's all fun and games until those gay men are sleeping with the men that they're sleeping with. It's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until those gay men are sleeping with the men y'all are sleeping with. Or those men that you are sleeping with that you call your boyfriend, you you know, you could you end up finding out your man is down low and he's sleeping with another man, he gives you a disease, and then it's a problem. And you wonder why. You wonder why. What these men are doing right here, this is what needs to happen more often. But you know what? I'm not even gonna talk no more. Let's get right into the damn video. Come on, man. Look at this young Negro right here, man. Girl, man, stop it, man. That's a damn shame, man. And then you got two girls with them hyping them up. That's the problem with our women right there. They talk about they want a good man, but they hype up niggas being homosexual, man. Does right. that make any damn sense? Bring your little ass across the track. I know. There you go. We calling right. our asses out. That's right. Because the Most High God is not, that is not acceptable to the Most High God. What y'all doing over there, man? That's your partner. That's your getting beans, right? Get the hell out of here with that. The Most High God take us an abomination. No, nah, you ain't gotta forgive me. Look out, here goes some more homosexuals, man. This is a damn problem, man. Yeah, come on over here, bro. I, I want to ask y'all some serious questions. Let me ask you. Let's stop it real quick. And this is the problem right there. You have the boy across the track that's actually looking like a female, and who walks over to the track to defend that little boy that's actually acting like a female? The little young chicken head right there. She walks her little ass across the track to actually defend a boy that's acting like a girl. She's defending him. It's, <clears throat> instead of telling that young man, you know what? You're actually not a girl. You're a little boy. This is the problem right here. These young black women are defending gay homosexual men. And then when that little homosexual boy right there messes with one of her friends that she's dealing with, then it will become a problem. You'll hear her on YouTube or one of these social media sites talking about how her actual boyfriend is on the down low or he's bisexual and he gave that black, her, her little black ass a disease. But they won't tell these young black men that they're actually boys and they're not girls. I don't understand how these women are always hanging around bisexual men all the time or gay men. And to me, there's, and let me, let me make this clear right now to the men out there. To me, there's no such thing as bisexual. If you mess with a man, you're gay. I don't care what nobody says. Ain't no bisexual. I mess with men and I mess with a, with a woman. No. If you mess with a man and you're a man, you're gay. Ain't no bisexual. I go both ways. I swing both ways. You're gay. I don't care what anybody else says. Everybody always want to say, well, he's bisexual. No. Ain't no bisexual with men. Ain't no bisexual with women either. Either you're straight or you're gay. You're heterosexual or you're a homosexual. 
Ain't no, ain't no ins and outs on that. So I want to make that clear. Okay. Ask you a serious question. Hey, bro, did you avoid, right? Eyes up. So what does the Bible tell you that you need to do? It says, it says, people say it's an abomination, but he also says it's as you are. No, you won't find that in the Bible. Oh, boy, tell me where I can find it. I preach every day that the Bible man-made organism, right? That, but where does it tell you that you can come where you are? It doesn't. It doesn't. Let's stop it right there. You know that's funny? It's like every, anytime you see a debate between gay men and, and actual heterosexual black men, they always want to use the same verse. It says, come as you are. It says, come as you are. It's like that's the only part in the... They want to find certain parts of the Bible to um, make it seem like what they're doing is okay. Doesn't the Bible says, come as you are? Now, I'm not a holy roller, and I, I'm, I don't read the Bible too often, but if the Bible says come as you are, doesn't that mean if you have to come to church and you pretty much can't have on um, this type of clothing, or you're black, you're white, no matter what type of uh, religion you are, that you could come at, Isn't that what that means? I mean, if somebody out there knows the Bible better than me, which I'm pretty sure you probably do, y'all let me know. Does it mean come as you are as if you're gay? You could come because I'm pretty sure gay people can't come to church, but shouldn't you pretty much like renounce your sins or something like that to actually try to change up? Like you could come as you are, but these dudes come in flaming, looking like girls, being all girly, homosexual. Come on, man. Cut it out. Cut it out. Y'all y'all contradicting y'all. We're not contradicting ourselves. The Bible says that we have to be men. How you going? How you going? Go? Do you have children? How you going to have children? The Bible says that your seed is the only way that a woman can have children. Do you masturbate? Huh? Do you masturbate? Bro, no, we can't masturbate no more, man. That's sin. That's the seriousness. That's the seriousness, brother. But the point is. I mean, that's a sexual strong desire that we got to get up off of us. That's the sin. When you talk, I talk. I got you. I'm going to get you. I'm gonna give you a chance. Look at that. That's the whole. That's the problem, man. See, we out here to call it out. Give me Ezekiel 44 and 24. Bring it up. Because guess what? Guess what? This is what a man is supposed to be. A man is supposed to create the children. The only way that the woman can get pregnant is if a man see impregnates a woman. That's right. That's why we are failing as a nation because now women can't find good men. But then they complain about it, but they hype up men that, that want to be women. That's right. What Does that book? make sense? Can I talk now? Does that make sense? You can give me one thing, bro. Let's stop the damn video right there. Now, y'all heard that Israelite just tell this young man actual here that you're looking at because this is not a woman. Y'all heard him say, how are we going to make more children when these men are pretty much acting like women? How are we going to, men are supposed to plant the seed in the woman to actually make babies. How is that going to happen if these young men are growing up and they're becoming homosexual uh, grown men and are not impregnating a woman to actually have seeds or have children. How? It's going to eradicate men, uh, 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 the lifeline and existence of people in general. If you keep having all these men acting gay and not impregnating women, how will it ever happen? How will it ever happen? We will start, we will, we, we, we our, our existence will be eradicated pretty much. Straight eliminated. We're not growing as a population because all this homosexual stuff going on and these women actually hyping these homosexuals up. What do y'all think about what these Israelites told these gay men? Were they preaching right there? Were they telling the truth? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.